Spong, and a Bay Area family is missing their precious <laughs> beast. Cody is here with your two minute of mayhem. Yes, hey. indeed. Oh, do bomb sniffing dogs. Sorry about this. You got to start looking for a new job. Oh. It's all about Popeye's favorite food group now. Scientists at MIT are working to develop bionic spinach what? plants that uh, detect explosives. It's called plant <laughs> nanobiotics. Wow. Uh, it modifies plants to give them non native functions. When the explosive compounds are detected by the bomb sniffing plant, it barks. What? or emits a signal that can be picked up by an infrared camera. <laughs> researchers hope to one day engineer plants that can detect environmental pollutants and warm of future adverse conditions. How it about is that? A super, it is a superfood. Where? <laughs> Golly. And then it becomes self-aware and we're all doomed. <laughs> and uh, we got an update, people, to a story we brought you earlier this week. Kit Kat stolen bar out of the center of a console of a college student's right. unlike car. Remember this? Right. Yes. The thief left a moat note in Hunter Jobbins reading uh, reading in part, saw your Kit Kat in your cup holder, did not take anything other than the Kit Kat. I am sorry and I am hungry. Uh, Hunter <laughs> tweeted a picture of the note in disbelief where it went viral, being linked nearly half a million times, liked the half a million times. Uh, the tweet caught the attention of the makers of Kit Kat. They promised to replace the stolen chocolate bar, and that's exactly what they did. Yeah. And they gave them plenty to share. Oh my gosh. They filled his car with 6,500 <laughs> Kit Kat bars. <laughs> Which is well, great. You know the kid. You yeah. know the kid who took the bar has seen that too. Yeah. He probably feels kind of. And I'm thinking. You get a Kit Kat. You get. Yeah, it's like Oprah. But, wow. Yeah. I don't think. Dude, man, you got a Kit Kat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's the guy that took it. You know it. You know it. He's a little too excited, yeah, I think. That was the dude. I think we just figured that out. He had bionic spinach for and breakfast. Exactly. Yes, and by the way, left Twix would have not done that. Oh, no, that's true. Uh, we see signs posted for missing cats and dogs all the time, but one San Francisco neighborhood, a man is asking for help finding his lost sticky lizard. <laughs> Weird. Seriously, here's Bearded Dragon. His name is Sticky. Aww. And he's been missing for more than a week now. Last seen in the Mission District. Uh, he's about two feet long. That's a pretty good sized lizard to go just missing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like a big lizard. Uh, flyers lizard, have been posted lizard, around lizard. town, and neighbors are keeping a lookout for the beast. Have you seen the lizard? No. I've not seen the lizard, but I'd like to see the lizard. I've seen larger things wandering around the sidewalks in this city. <laughs> really? <laughs> Well, it is the mission. <laughs> That's <district>. true. That's <laughs> true. I expert say if you happen to be in San oh, Francisco, oh. come across this sticky lizard. Oh. Uh, he's not dangerous, but approach oh. him slowly. Oh. Don't spook him. Okay. And, and if you don't want him running off into traffic. No, you don't. So don't. Don't spook, spook him. him. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's right. Don't spook him. Okay. <laughs> Offer him some bugs. Or if you have some Kit Kats, you know, <laughs> just gotta play some. Out. There you go. That it's a pretty hip two uh, minutes of May of Kit Kat. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a pretty. Mission's a pretty hip part of town, you know.